And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon. And as always, we're working on your financial freedom using the term word today because yes, it is another edition of Tell Al Tuesday, where I bring a Lifestyles Unlimited member on the show with me. And we we just talk it out. We talk it through. It gives you an insight as to two investors having a conversation with each other. And it also gives you an insight as to that that other investors mindset. It'll give you a shot at, well, why did they do what they did? Why didn't they just do what conventional wisdom told them to do, which is, you know, work 40 or more hours a week for 35 to 45 years straight. And then at some magic point in life, maybe the age of 65, because the government suggests that you could retire at the age of 65, maybe at the age of 65, you retire and then you try living off that bag of money, praying praying that your life expectancy isn't too long because if it's too long, you could face the risk of running out of money. And that kind of thing is happening day in and day out in America. Now, my guest today, his name is Jeff, and he lives up in the Pacific Northwest. He, he told me earlier today that he's about 20 miles away from Portland. Now, he doesn't live in Oregon. He's a Washingtonian, and he found Lifestyles Unlimited like 40% of the people that are members of Lifestyles Unlimited, somebody he knew told him about Lifestyles Unlimited. And Jeff, well, it piqued his curiosity, so he, he checked it out. So I'm going to stop talking right there, and I'm going to bring Jeff onto the show because I think it's really important for you to understand this relationship Jeff had with his friend. Jeff, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Good morning, Al. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on. It's it's quite a pleasure. Man, I'm I'm so excited to dig into your story because I mean, if if I if I'm correct here, you you became a member of Lifestyles Unlimited in December of 2019, right? That is correct. And then the United States of America decided to throw a big pandemic for you, like three months later, right? The craziness set in that February. It was insane. Were, were you were you losing your mind? Did you think that you had made a, a bad decision by becoming a member of Lifestyles Unlimited? Well, it's interesting that um, you say that because yes, there was um, all of these this talk of um, the property leads out there not doing distributions, holding money back because they didn't know what was going to happen, and I was going through the the, the coursework. Um, educating myself at the time and wondering if I was really in the right spot. And, and in the back of my mind, having some a little bit of real estate background, I thought, you know, people still have to have a place to live. Um, so somehow this is going to work. And as, you know, the months progressed, things looked like it weren't going to be as grim as everybody thought. Well, tell me about your friend that introduced you to Lifestyles Unlimited. What what was it that this person said to you that caught your attention? I'm buying an apartment building. <laughs> that's what he said. I was like, you are That's what? all he said? <laughs> no. So that's what really got my attention. Um, oh. I've known him for, for years and years. He and my wife and his wife went to school at Oregon State together. And so he's essentially my, he's my best friend. And we'd always talked a little bit about real estate and I had a, a rental property here in Washington and they ended up moving to Texas and he became involved in lifestyles. He, he didn't really tell me what was going on other than he was buying some single family rentals and he was doing pretty well. And next thing I know, he said, I'm buying an apartment complex. And so then that really caught my attention, and we started talking more and more and telling me what it was all about. And at the time, I had a pretty pretty good job, a very good job that I enjoyed and thought I was doing okay. I was doing okay with my rental properties, and so I didn't feel I needed to branch out a whole lot. And 
then uh, fast forward a little bit, and I left my job in late 2019 and thought, what am I going to do? And talking to Mike some more, uh, you know, this is probably something I need to explore a little bit more. And I did. And long story short, I ended up joining December of 2019, like you said. Dad, did you think Mike was pulling your leg when he said, oh, I'm buying an apartment? No, Mike's an engineer, so he doesn't pull my leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he was absolutely serious, and you took him at face value. But was was there some skepticism in your mind? Like, you know, Mike, how how is it you can buy an apartment? I mean, were you thinking that by any chance? I, I thought that was a little bit out of his box, but I knew that since it was, it had to have been something he thoroughly was – he believed in and he was all in on that and he was a lead operator for this apartment community and told me the ins and the outs and what was going on I, I we talked about it quite frequently and was impressed on what he was doing and and through that I learned more about the lifestyles program and was impressed on the whole structure and the community that's built around it when I found out who Jeff's best friend was, I, I just became elated because I know the same guy. I know Mike. I know the exact Mike that he's talking about. As a matter of fact, I just had a conversation with Mike over the weekend on Sunday. He was explaining to me how he was able to kind of crack the code on taking money out of 401ks. And he, and he, and he figured out that there's a way to actually protect like the first $80,000 that you take out, that you can take that out actually tax-free. And the rest of the money that he could take out would only be taxed at like 15% because the way he did it, it was all through capital gains. Did, did he happen to explain that to you, Jeff? It totally made sense on um, doing your earned income or having your earned income um, taxed at the capital gains rate. It, the, the, the sun and the moon and the stars kind of need to align, but it does work. Yeah, it, 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 especially for, for his particular situation, it works really well. And then, and then he decided he was going to brag a little bit. You know, you know what he showed me next? Uh, his pool? Uh, no, because we were at somebody else's house. But um, <laughs> we, we actually looked at somebody else's pool. No, he, he showed me his effective tax rate. Has he ever showed you his effective tax rate? I, I don't recall what it is, but I know it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty tiny. It's 3%. Yeah, and I, I saw the cover letter from his CPA saying your effective tax rate is 3%. And this is a guy that about 10 years ago started with about $400,000 of seed capital, and he ha now has turned that into about $4 million in net worth. Yet, yet even though he's got $4 million worth of net worth and he's bringing in good cash flow every month, he's only paying 3%. Mike? Is is Mike is Mike stealing from the government? I mean, maybe we shouldn't be talking about this, Jeff. <laughs> Let's hope they're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you how do you think he pulled that off? He's a pretty smart guy, and he is. Uh, he he manages his investments well, and utilizes all the resources around him. I mean, he he talks to people and and seeks out the information. He he just is on it. So this this guy leaves the beautiful great northwest of America, comes out to Texas, uh, and if I recall correctly, he came out because of his job. I mean, it was a job transfer thing. That's the only reason he came out. Exactly. And then he he immediately decided that he was going to wreck that career, and and he's done a wonderful job. So I'm guessing Mike has shared some insider information with you about how to get started in all this stuff. Is that, is that a fair assessment? Uh, I would call it fair. He was a very good mentor and eased any fears that I harbored about um, jumping into something like this, um, saw his success and what he was doing. And when he told me he, re he retired, um, I, I, I had to ask him, you, what do you mean you retired? Well, I have enough income from my investments that I can retire which got my attention. So we talked more and we talked more and, and you know, it's, he's a, he's a poster child. Yeah. For this. 
and and he's he's the kind of guy that will bend over backwards to help other people. I mean, I I ran into a, a a young lady who just joined Lifestyles Unlimited, and she's got kind of the junk drawer approach to investing. So she's got a four hundred one k. She's got both kinds of IRAs. She's got one of those five twenty nines for her kid. She's got something else and something else and and another something else. And she came to me and said, "How do I get all my money out?" And I go, "Let me call Mike Johnson and let's ask him." I mean, do you, do you think I gave her good advice? <laughs> you did. I think so. At Expo um, that we had um, the last one, we I met some folks from Colorado and um, just briefly and then ran into them at the bar later after all the day's events had, had finished and t- talked to them briefly and exchanged information. And I got a phone call about a week later from from her. Her name's Kim, and she said, hope you don't mind me calling you, but I saw you hanging out with the smart guys. I was with Mike and <laughs> other leads, so I thought you might be a smart one, too. <laughs> well, the, well, that's a great compliment. Thank you very much. Well, I, I think you are a smart guy because, I mean, you listen to what Mike told you. You, you joined Lifestyles Unlimited prior to a pandemic. How, how old were you at that time, Jeff, when you, when you joined? I'm just oh, gosh. curious. Oh, um, 50, 54. Okay, so I'm guessing you and I are about the same age. I'm 58, so 57 for you is that fair? 56, maybe? Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. okay. So we're, we 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 grew up in the same kind of generation, different parts of the country, and I mean, you you were doing everything you were supposed to do according to what people taught you, right? And then Mike Johnson calls you and goes, "Hey, man, I got a I got a news break for you." How how did that conversation go down, by the way? It uh, was interesting because I, I, like you said, had my path had been pay off the debt, do what everyone says, save in the 401k. And he told me he was withdrawing money from his 401k and um, doing all of these things that were opposite of what we had learned. It, it really started, you know, asking a lot of questions and how does it work? How does it work? What's working? And why does this why does this make sense? And um, it did. I, I asked other um, lifestyle members that uh, he knew, and I was a mutual friend with, and they validated everything that he said. So uh, I, that started my path into lifestyles. So when when you joined, were you already at a point where you were, you were trying to retire yourself, or was was joining Lifestyles the catalyst that was actually going to get you retired? <laughs> well, I had I had left my job um, a few months prior to joining, and um, I could have been retired. My wife, however, drew a, a line in the sand and said, um, "No." You're not going to retire <laughs> until I retire. Uh oh! Boy, did you get that out of order, didn't you? <laughs> she, was a, she was a couple years, you know, off. She wasn't quite ready. She enjoys her job, and so I thought Wait, she's okay. an accountant, right? She's she's she, like an yes, exactly, like comptroller, really smart numbers person. Exactly, and she likes it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like she people does. like that because I hate that stuff. She's my money person. <laughs> Good. We all need one of those. So. We talked about it, and I thought, you know, after talking with Mike some more and doing some more research and due diligence, that I thought, yes, this is, this is a good a good deal. I, I don't disable, disbelieve what everyone is telling me. So we actually joined um, in December of 2019 before even attending the two-day. I was that convinced. Um, having that inside track, inside information – I didn't need any more convincing. So um, we were required, of course, to go to the two-day, which was even more beneficial because attending the two-day, it it kind of put those puzzle pieces in place that I was missing, having um, been a single-family owner and rental having rentals prior to that. Yeah, those puzzle pieces, man, when they all fall into place and they're sitting exactly where they're supposed to sit, all of a sudden the image becomes crystal clear and you know exactly the direction you need to go in. When we come back from the break, we're going to ask them what those pieces look like. Stick around.
Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. We went from 100% live to 100% virtual. And you know the funny thing is, is that nobody wants to go back to work now that work from home, right? So now my members are like, well, Dell, we want to keep those virtual things open because now I know all the people in Miami and I know all the people in Chicago. I know all the people now know each other from all over the country because of these virtual events. The free workshop, How to Retire in Five Years or Less, is online. Go to lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Hey, welcome back to the second half of the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. This is a Tell Al Tuesday edition, and I am joined by Jeff, who is a Lifestyles Unlimited member. He lives up in the great Pacific Northwest. And even though Lifestyles Unlimited doesn't have a brick and mortar office there, Jeff was able to join Lifestyles Unlimited. He was able to connect into the community, and he was able to change the trajectory of his life. Now, before we went to the break, he was talking about something that we call the two day. Now, the two day is what we call our financial freedom seminar. It's it's literally a 16 hour course. Uh, we offer it on the weekends. Uh, and that's why we call it a two day. But we also offer it during the week in the evenings. That's a, a different type of presentation. And we, we do that on a Tuesday and a Wednesday for two weeks in a row and that that way you get all your 16 hours over a two-week period because we realize that not everybody has their weekends available so jeff i i really am curious you you mentioned that you went through the the two day and it it filled in some of the puzzle pieces you were missing that allowed you to to get your head around this whole real estate investing so what exactly were those missing pieces that you needed in order to complete the puzzle well one of them that uh i was actually really surprised to learn is how apartment communities are valued, that they're not based on an appraisal. So that made sense to me. They're based on income, and it made sense as to why it was so important to put in things that made the property more money, because that increases the valuation substantially. And... um, not just based on an appraiser off in some office and the the ability to turn that property in say one to five to seven years and make such a great profit if you've gotten that income increased so much uh, over time. The other was, of course, the conventional thinking of needing to pay off all of your debts and the, the explanations of why you need to leverage your equity and keep moving it into new investments. Keep that snowball growing. Uh, yeah, that's that's exactly the opposite of what we've been learning. So um, that that helped move me along, and my wife as well. Yeah, those are those are two critical pieces of information, and it's it's surprising how those two pieces of information are not common knowledge amongst those of us that are a part of society. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. Nobody ever talks about these things, and therefore we're never exposed to them. So it, it, it really takes a guy like, like Mike leaving Oregon or, or Washington State, wherever he came from, and, and coming to Texas and finding Lifestyles Unlimited and going, oh, my goodness, I have found the Holy Grail. Then he picks up the phone, he calls you, and he goes, man, if I got some good news for you, and you listen to him, and you took action. And I'll tell you what, this is this is a pretty amazing story you have, Jeff, because I, I know some other folks that, that joined just prior to the pandemic and you know the pandemic hit and we were all we were all kind of in, you know, where do we go from here mode? And I remember those conversations that were being had with regards to let's let's hold off paying distributions for the first quarter of this pandemic. And not all leads did that, but the majority did. All, all of the deals that I was invested in, they all made that business decision. So that meant, you know, no additional income coming into our house that particular quarter. But 
it was a it was a great business decision because what it allowed us to do was capitalize our apartment communities to make sure that we had adequate cash flows to meet the needs just in case anything went south. And like you pointed out at the very beginning of the show, everybody, everybody needs a place to live except for those people that choose to be homeless. Everybody needs to have a place to live. Yep. And as a result of that, I mean, what what a great business model to be in, to be in 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 one of the few things that, you know, customers demand even during a pandemic. So I noticed that um, when you started to invest in, in apartment communities, you started buying in around August of 2020. So we're, we're in the middle of the pandemic and it looks like you're on a full court press to deploy a bunch of money. Can you explain to me why in in your mind it, it made sense to you to invest in real estate while the country was losing its mind well it seems like a lot of um but by, by that time a lot of the the folks had kind of figured things out and that it might not be as bad as it possibly could have been and i really needed to get the snowball built and rolling and you know what they say you, you, you don't want to wait so the longer I held the money, the less it was going to do for me. So that's why I started, uh, just one right after another. Currently, you're in 13 different apartment communities. I, I, I guess the proper way to say that is you are formally invested in 13 different apartment communities. Um, you have ownership interests in just, just shy of 2,000 doors. Um, how, how, how did you wrap your head around deploying all this money? It was, for me, a long time like a, a full-time job um, and, and, a, and a little scary. A lot of analyzing, making sure that I was comfortable with the lead, because the lead is very important to me, um, comfortable with the geography and the, the property. A lot of deals I passed on, they weren't in my what I wanted to do, um, but all of these have, that I'm in have done very very well so far yeah i'm looking at all the the different leads that you're invested in and i know every one of them i know every one of the people you're invested with and right. i'm actually invested with some of those people too not necessarily the same deals but yeah I'm, i've got money deployed with them too so I, i'm guessing you and i have a similar similar strategy now my my strategy is i've been going after deep value plays what what have you been going after I wanted a, little, a mix of both. I wanted to get some cash-on-cash cash, um, distributions quarterly um, coming in, but I also wanted a mix of value or hybrid that the distributions were lower or, or none at all for a period of time and get that um, appreciation of the asset in place so that when it is, is sold, then the distribution is, is hopefully much healthier well given the track record of the people you're invested with i i think you don't have a whole lot to worry about now of course we we we, we can't sit on our laurels and investing nope. <laughs> takes takes a little bit of effort it does take you some time to to monitor how these investments are going so here's the question that everybody wants to know jeff how many hours a month or let's 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 make it even more interesting. How many hours a week do you spend on your real estate investing efforts? Probably at this point, five to ten. Okay. Probably and, on the and, lower end, because I'm truth be told, I'm out of funds right now. I'm waiting for some distribution so of second generation money so I can redeploy that. So I'll, I'll begin looking at deals even closer. Um, because I know there's some some cash coming in that I'll want to put back out there. Man, I hope you're having as much fun as Jeff and I are having, because I'll tell you what, this is the first opportunity I've ever had to talk to Jeff, and I think we're hitting it off pretty good. What do you think, Jeff? Are we hitting it off pretty good? I would say so. We've got a lot of things in common. We we absolutely do. You know, I'm looking at a, a picture of you. It looks like you're you're in some place in Oregon. There's a, a very beautiful lady standing next to you. 
and there's a, a waterscape in the background. I'm guessing that's a lake with those beautiful pine trees that grow in the Pacific Northwest. And of course, I can see, you know, the, the hillscape behind that and the puffy white clouds and the blue sky. What a <laughs> beautiful setting. Tell me about that picture, Jeff. What's going on there? Well, that's in Bend, Oregon, a beautiful, beautiful area of the country. If you've not been, I highly suggest it. Um, and what you don't see in the picture, um, probably over my shoulder, is Mike Johnson and his, his lovely wife, Paige, who we vacationed there with. Really? So, so Mike left Texas to go up to Oregon to go hang out with you? You know, stranger things have happened. Well, I think that's pretty cool. You know, he and, did, and knowing, yeah. Yeah, and, and knowing Mike's background, I mean, it's... I, and I've interviewed him on the show before, so I don't think he'll have a problem with me paraphrasing him. Um, and here's the paraphrase. I don't worry about money anymore. That's that's Mike Johnson's life. Now, now you knew Mike Johnson when he was an engineer, when he was working, what, like 60, 70 hours a week and probably being stressed out like yep. every minute of it? Yep. What's what's exactly. the difference between the current Mike Johnson and the Mike Johnson that used to be an engineer? He is much more laid back and relaxed and just so easygoing. Um, it's, a, it's a huge difference. And, and that's kind of where I've come from as well, as I had a 40, 50, 60 hour a week job and stressed out. And since I've left that and have been investing um, in real estate, I'm much more laid back and relaxed. My wife says, I know there's a huge difference in you. You're a different person. And I would agree. I'm, it's, he and I are both much healthier. Yeah, and, and the women that love you are much happier because they're not watching their, their husbands that they love very much erode in front of them because of the stress. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 it's amazing when you start regaining control over your life, and, and real estate investing is that catalyst that, that gives you that control. So since we're, we're talking about that, where are you at with regards to your retirement plan? I mean, we, we, we tell everybody that we'll get you retired in five years or less on average. Um, do, do you need the full five years? Have you fully retired yourself? Where are you at in that journey right now? Well, I have... I, I'm essentially technically retired. However, I did take a, a job um, part-time driving a school bus because they were, there was such a shortage of school bus drivers, and still is, um, to spend time that I, you know, wanted to do something for the, the little town that I live in. And my wife is within a year to two years from retiring so my bus driver family out there as soon as she retires i'm out sorry to break the news to you but uh that's our plan is to just a year or two more and um we'll be retired and hopefully hitting the road doing some now, traveling the the other folks that drive those buses are they in your same situation i mean they're just counting the days till they're going to pop smoke or are they living a different kind of lifestyle it, it's a different kind of life, so it's it's a mix. Some folks are retired, some um, are are career drivers, so you know they're not all in one category. But the majority of them probably aren't doing what you're doing as far as investing no, in real estate. Not at all. Not at all. Have have you no. have you tried to share that with some of the folks that there's a better way? I have, I have, and there was actually um, some interest in, um, believe it or not, a. I, I think I'll have uh, at least one or two folks come into our next uh, Portland uh, meetup so they can find out more about what's going on. Oh, how awesome. To, how to live the lifestyle. Now, what what is this meetup thing that you're talking about? I, I know what it is, but the folks listening to us, they may not quite know what we're talking about. But we Different geographies across the country, um, people that live here will meet on a regular basis um, to talk about lifestyles and uh, investing and anything else that's on their minds. There's an ambassador that uh, will help coordinate that and choose a location and sometimes a guest speaker that comes in or other ambassadors will join us as well. In Portland, we've got 
probably, I don't know how many total members, but regularly about 20 to 30 of us will meet. That's, that's a pretty decent-sized group. And, and what is it you guys talk about when you meet? We talk about um, the investments that we're in, what um, they see the economy doing, and what impact it has on investing. Interest rates, of course, are a hot topic right now. Um, just kind of anything that comes to mind, how to get money out of your 401K, how to... Uh, we talk about taxes, and a lot of new members don't know the tax consequences or implications or, or the, the positive benefits of investing um, when it comes to taxes, so that, that's helpful. Uh, one of the meetings we had not too long ago, um, a new couple came, and they were so proud because they had just paid off their house. And I said, Why? <laughs> because <laughs> you and i know why right but exactly. but dave ramsey so that, would tell you differently wouldn't he that's so that led to a long conversation of why they needed to get that money back out and start putting it into uh light into deals and and what what kind of response do you do do they look at you like you got a third eye growing out of your forehead or do they they actually pay attention and figure that maybe you're giving them good advice i i think um, it's in the approach, and if you can confidently talk about something, then they they believe what you're telling them, and it's a good takeaway for them. Um, so it's it's not like I'm trying to blow smoke and mirrors at them. It's based on my experience that's that its experiences have been positive, and I want to share those with people. Now, you, you happen to have a relationship with the, the local ambassador, do you not? I do, um, and it's a, it's a great benefit. It's my daughter. My daughter, Lauren Nicole, is the uh, Portland ambassador, and uh, she is also a member and invested in several deals, uh, setting, setting herself up for success. She enjoys the uh, networking part of it she's just a real dynamic personality and loves to meet people and loves to host the events so it's been a, a great benefit in my opinion for the portland area to have somebody like her um, doing the hosting and coordinating of all of these people just love her well we we love all of our ambassadors i mean these these are members that they don't they don't make a dime or anything they they essentially go out and do exactly what you said because their their role is really to help other people, and they they do a great job. Mike Mike is actually an ambassador for for Austin, Texas. Did did he ever tell you that? Yeah, yeah. Actually, he came up and he was a guest speaker at one of our meetings a few months ago. He uh, did a great big presentation on his history and his success, and um, answered. Uh, did a lot of questions, uh, questions and answers, and um, spent his own time helping other people up here. It was pretty awesome. So we're going to get Kelly retired. What in about one, maybe two years? What's what's the game plan to achieve that? What what do you still have to accomplish in order to to help her never work again? We need the snowball just to grow a little bit more. We've got. Uh, a little bit of first, call first or second generation money deployed, so we had some distributions from a sale, and uh, we redeployed that. And there's some more in the pipeline, some sales of properties coming up, and we'll use that to get into some more deals and see those investments start to pay off. So it's just a, a matter of a little bit of time to get that snowball bigger and producing a little bit more income. But we're on the right track. We're on the trajectory. So was was Kelly always on board with you doing this, or did she she like my wife Tina need a little bit of time to kind of digest all of this stuff? She needed a little time to digest it, but uh, attending the two day um, in Seattle got her a little bit excited, and then um, listening to me watching going through all the coursework and then showing her what kind of investments that 
we wanted to move forward with, I wanted to move forward with, she she was finally in. She said, okay, it makes sense. Um, and having the background of of the two of us owning two other uh, rental properties, single family here, it wasn't, you know, something completely new. It uh, made sense, and we had a CPA telling us we needed to do some investing to have some some losses to offset some uh, income that that helped get us there. Cost segregation. I, what a, what a, an amazing thing that is completely legal and authorized by the United States government. If you want to do what Jeff is doing, go to lifestylesunlimited.com, sign up for a free workshop, and let's get you retired. The information and opinions you hear on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show are those of the host, guests, and callers. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented constitutes an endorsement, recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.